hi guys welcome back to sussex code forever thank you for clicking on today's video i hope you're all doing amazing wherever you are and as always if you're new here kindly don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join our beautiful family so today what i want to talk about is a very serious issue that i feel like needs to be addressed because the length at which this deranged people are going is just unacceptable so this man known as andy signor i want to just play for you this clip whereby you can see he is clearly inciting people to go to montecito and harass the family of prince harry and Meghan markle so just listen to this my family first of all I go to la i'm gonna try to meet her out in la and then we're going to charter a bus and we are going to do a worldwide privacy tour to Montecito. We're going to bring the signs, the privacy signs, we and we are going to go on a full-on tour. And we are going to bring we the megaphones. Privacy. And the plan we is, we, we are going to go outside privacy. their house we and demand privacy. that we want privacy. We want privacy. Uh, that is the plan. So yes, we are we are rallying the funds. So funds today and throughout the next month, we'll be going. We're going to go to LA. I'm so my family, can you believe that? Can you actually, actually believe that? Have you heard that? This man is actually talking to his fans or whoever it is they are, inciting them, telling them, having a fundraiser, want you to have a fundraiser to raise funds to actually go all the way to Montecito, saying he's going to go there with placards, saying how just to mock the Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, harass them in their house or at the other place of residence and talk about how they're going to shout, shout, we want privacy, we want privacy, inciting a whole bunch of people to actually go there. You know what, my family, there is a justice in this world. Karma is working day in, day out because you know what? People heard of this. People got, they got wound of this story don't joke because people will come after you people will come after you looked into his work looked into his lives and they're posting about him posting about the allegations he had of abusing people the, it's being posted everywhere people are talking about his true colors how he's been accused by a few people of abusing them that you know people are you have skeletons in your closet and you're there trying to come after these two people who have never done anything about you you want to make you you, you want to make yourself famous now he is for sure for sure regretting it you thought this was the way to go huh you thought this was the way this was the way to go to try and make yourself famous is that right so let me tell you what people of the internet they will come after you so so bad they will come after you with a vengeance. They will come after you so, so hard. And so, all of a sudden, Andy Signor is his name, claims his plans to fundraise, harass Harry and Meghan's family and community is all a joke. A joke because he's been exposed as a sexual predator. He's been exposed as a predator and now he wants to claim it was a joke. He wants to claim it was a joke. So it's a whole thing. This person of honest trailers, creator, Andy Signor. It is a popular YouTube series, yeah, but now you're going to be known for all the long, wrong reasons. Instead of doing your job, just making fun of things that you'd make fun of, you're actually propagating for people to go and harass one person's family. To harass somebody's family. What gives you the right? What gives you the right? And so he comes out with a tweet saying that they are posting pics of my kids, threatening my family, something I have never done, and they think I'm the insane one. What? Now that people are at your door, people are at your house, this man, it's been proven, as you can see here. I mean, so you want to say how you've never talked about someone else's kids. This is you. This is you with your own mouth going out and saying how she was never really pregnant look at uh, trying to form conspiracies here and there discrediting the fact that megan Markle is the mother to archie is the mother to lilibet trying to discredit that fact trying to prove with your own conspiracy theories this is something that is going to affect these children for the rest of your, their lives the internet is forever whether you delete it or not someone there has whatever it is you decided to 
talk about, to put out across. Even if you delete it, once you've put it on the internet, people can always find it. And so can you imagine Prince Archie growing up and finding this crap on the internet, finding these things talking about him and his heritage? How would that affect somebody? How would that affect somebody? People everywhere trying to prove that you are not the child of your mother or your father. So he has personally attacked children, someone else's kids. And now when it comes to him, he is crying. He is crying. And I want to tell my family, I don't really feel sorry for him. I don't feel sad for him because one, he is a predator. And two, you're being dished out the same thing that you dished out to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The same thing is now being done to you. So you cannot start crying, asking for sympathy, wanting people to sympathize with you when your whole, basically, career or whatever it is you put your time into is talking negatively about the Sussex, Sussexes. So, this man is receiving karma at its best. So, I just want to read to you some few of the tweets where it shows you that you shouldn't joke. This this land is not our home, people. You should you can't think you have popularity one day, one minute you're the one who is famous and all that. And the next minute, people can just turn on you. And this is something to never ever do. In as much as you hate Meghan Markle, you love Meghan Markle, do not try and say that you're going to go with people, form a rally, go and attack people in their own homes, incite crowds who you don't know how deranged they are, you don't know how sane they are. You are going to incite them to go to someone else's home and attack them. I mean, are you okay in the head? Something is seriously wrong with you, and rightfully so is being called out, even with people who are not necessarily the biggest supporters of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Someone here says, funny how that works, eh? They like to tr throw stones but forget their own skeletons in their closet. This is exactly right. They forget. They forget that they actually have skeletons in their own closet and people are going to dig them out. You're not the Holy Joe. You're not the Pope. You're not someone who is just good old saint. For you to be the first person to judge other people's lives, to be like, you hate the people for no reason whatsoever. Someone else says because he's been called out and given a test of his own medicine, including some colorful messages from me, someone is saying, if I get suspended from this app as a result, so be it. He's inciting hate against a couple with young children. He crossed the line. There are lines you can't cross. There are lines you just can't cross. I've said this before, attacking someone's children. No, it's always a no. Always a no. Talk about them however you want, but inciting people to actually go, you don't know how rowdy these people will. They might want to commit violence. They might want to actually physically attack people, cross their gate, go into their homes, cause a disturbance. And you know these people, is they're a family. They have kids living with them. How heartless are you? So, with the way he's playing the victim, trying to bat his eyelashes, you know, it will not work. It won't work. It will not. So, and for him saying it's a joke, it is not a joke. He knows his audience. There are racist people. There are unstable people. He knows the kind of audience he has. So, he knows if the, this is... People are going to actually try and take this seriously. They're going to send you money, raise you the funds you want to. They're going to demand that you people go and harass someone's family because they're deranged. So it's not a joke. You know what you are doing. You know what you are doing. So even a few people who are actually saying, whereby someone here is saying, I don't support the Sussexes, as you know, but Andy Signor at Popcorn Planet is beneath contempt. I can wholeheartedly agree with you that he at least is known as a predator, and the woman accusing him have documented evidence. He is a pest. Honestly, honestly, someone else is saying, I don't see the need for politics here. I only consider humanity. That is one thing whereby you should have common sense, whether you like them or not. At this point, whether or not, I like the likes of Kate Middleton, I would say. Whether or not, I will not come here on this channel and attack their children. I will not come here and say negative things about their kids. And that is something, that is just common sense, decency as a human being. She is a human deserving of common decency and respect in the same manner she has shown others. What is wrong with you people? 
What is wrong to just wake up in the morning and just decide to type trash, attack people's homes and families? So Andy is paying for it. People are outraged. People are coming after him. And he is going to reap what he has sown. The consequences of his actions are coming and he doesn't like them right now. He's going to start crying and not even apologizing because if apologizing is just for him to try and save his face, for him to try and act like, okay, maybe he's realized his wrongs, but not really. It's because of the consequences. They don't like the consequences. They can do what they are doing, but they don't want to have to deal with the consequences. So my family karma is working at its best. The likes of these people need to be called out. People are calling him out. Even his YouTube channel is in danger now. It could be reported because of spreading hate purposefully. And there, you, 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 everything you've worked hard for just because you, you can't close your mouth, just because you can't have common human decency. You could lose your YouTube channel. You could lose maybe the way you're making an income. And you know what? It's going to be rightfully so because you cannot expect to just give another family hell and just continue to be okay. You're going to just reap what you've sown. Honestly, honestly, honestly. And it is so deserved. So I just, I don't know. What do you think? I want to end you with this this, this one tweet here that resonates with me. Honestly, it's actually a fact. It's always the sexual predators and the deranged racists targeting the Sussexes. In particular, Meghan Markle. Stalking and defaming strangers that have done nothing to you is a crime. It actually should be. And it needs to be banned from profiting off the successes on YouTube, sued and prosecuted. Because this is just a crime. Inciting people to go to someone's home, commit a known act because you don't know what people will do because they're deranged. Targeting someone's family in their own home and communities. Do whatever you want to talk on the YouTube, talk your trash, on Twitter. Do whatever it is you want to do, but leave someone's family alone. What do you think of this story, my family? What do you think about of the insanity levels to which these deranged haters will go to? What do you think? But we are loving the fact that karma is at their feet, following them and dragging them down where they need to be. I think I will end this video there today, my family. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe to our channel and join our precious community. If you like my video, kindly please subscribe to us as well and, and give us give us a like. And comment down below, most importantly, because we love listening to your comments and replying to them as well. So until next time, bye.